Hello there, welcome again to my channel, it's me Janeran again. Uh, today I will be today I will be showing you how to paint uh, Aurora Borealis um, Northern Light actually using oil on a black canvas. Uh, it's good to use black canvas because we give you uh, opportunity to blend uh, dark, those light into the darkness, you know, coming through and shine. So, uh, I have a couple of colors here. I have uh, 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 tallow blue, uh, cobalt blue, um, I have uh, some green, yellow, Indian red, purple, all those green, all those colors, they are the one we use to make um, the painting. Uh, Proper. So, I'm gonna start with uh, some some light blue, some dark blue. So basically, when you paint aurora borealis, first you put all the colors which will really show the lights later, and then after we highlight, we will highlight them with the uh, white. But in the beginning, you don't see those colors uh, really because they are on a black background, you know. But when we highlight them, then you will be able to see them. So I will start, uh, I put uh, some green, you know. It's not uh, too difficult painting, you know, just, uh, just some green. Yes, uh, I'll be here. Just use different colors on, you know. Some greens. And uh, some purple around here. Yes, uh, a little bit. Some purple, something like this. Just play them around and around, you know. But each time we change color, you have to clean your brush, you know. And I get some red as well. Yes, anyway, this color they will show up later, you know. Some red. You know, we have a green, we have red, we have a purple. All those colors that we show up uh, later, you will have a look at the way they do. Yes, this will be kind of sky, you know. You know. And some blue. Yes. Put them on, don't worry, because everything will show up later. Some blue. Yes, a bit and a bit of each color you want to appear in your in your northern light painting. Yes, any color, anywhere. You don't see them clearly in the beginning because they are over black background. But don't worry. They are sleeping there, we will wake them up in a few minutes. I just keep painting. And again, if you want to learn more uh, uh, about this kind of techniques, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, as I will be uploading more videos soon. Yes, uh, for a little bit. Uh, light color there. What I can tell you is when you paint Aurora Brothers, use as many colors as you want to, to, uh, to appear in your northern light. So they are basically kind of greenish, yellowish, bluish, you know, with white, you know, things like that. So any kind of those colors we use will be okay. Yes, uh, some blue, maybe a tiny bit of different blue there. Uh, uh, yes, 
and different colors. This way, get playing around some uh, kind of uh, dark green here. And uh, they look nice in the oils effects, you know. Some kind of uh, green. Yes, um, something like that, green and blue. I like um, Persian blue. Persian blue looks nice with north and light, you know, it's kind of dark blue, you know. Yes, the painting looks nice uh, already. And before we put the lights on, you know. Yes, um, and add more colors. You know, the horizon line will be down here. Just uh, something like this. Yes, uh, some green. It's the Aurora Borealis. Aurora Borealis and uh, some green here. A bit blue here, a little bit blue, or maybe some, some of a kind of a green here, and maybe anywhere, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, anywhere you want, because there will be blended. The, at the, at the end. So, now, as you can see, I'm just putting on the colors, you know, and we will see what we get, what we will get from there. Now, And maybe because uh, I will want it down here to be more brighter, maybe I can add a little bit uh, of this color. And, 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 and anywhere, anywhere you want, you no? Know? Anywhere you want. And maybe for a good effect, I can add even a little bit yellow here we truly blend with that color and then and you will see and maybe maybe a little bit of this color down here to keep it more brighter as something like this where they will be coming from something like this Yes, to keep uh, uh, bright. So I'm about um, I'm about to bring to show this light in a few in a few minutes. So something like this. So this is phase one, the the etap, et, uh, etap, etap one, step one. So now uh, I'm going to use white using a fan brush and I'm going to highlight the, 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 the line where the northern light will be. So in this way, you give them shape you want them to have, in which direction they will be shining, you know, in things like that. Maybe I can put uh, just dab some white. And, uh, you 
know, you create the you create the shape. You create the shape there. Um, nothing, not not nothing to worry. Create the shape there where it, the way you where you want them to be. Uh, I'm gonna change this funny brush is not working properly for me. So I'm gonna change maybe to different brush and see what I will get from there. Mm, uh, this is not working for me as well. I just use. Uh, I try a few different brushes and see which one will work for me better. So I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have uh, more here. Usually you create this line using funny brush, it's much better, but uh, it's not working for me here properly. And um, maybe I'll make another one here. And uh, maybe, maybe another one here. It can be, it can have um, any shape. And, um, and maybe some here. And a shape. I remember I put something there. Something there. Yeah, something there. This way. Maybe, um, maybe a little bit more here. Yes, in a shape. Don't worry. Something like this. And then, what you need to do, use a dry brush, flat brush, and pull up. That way, gently, 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 just like that. Every time you pull, just wipe your brush. Just just like that, like that. See all of those colors we use from the background, they start appear. Just like that, just like that. Then make it, make them smooth. Just smooth them. Don't worry about it, the bottom because we paint something else down there. Yes, yeah, smooth them easily. Yes, 
Yeah, I see. Easy. Some more. Some more. Don't think you like it, huh? Yeah. Then and then if uh, you want to highlight the the bottom, I'm gonna highlight the the bottom. You can uh, add uh, add the white again. If I add some white, if I add some white. Hi. Pause these. Better pause there. And then we see. This recording. So no. this, uh, as 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 I was saying, you know, just use a white brush, full, 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 uh, gently, you know, and. Every time, just dry, wipe your brush, then you're going to get this effect. And remember, the line you used before, that's the shape you will get. They will wake up those colors we were using before. Okay, so now I keep co-painting and I put some green down here. We'll see what we get uh, from there. And, um, and um, some more... Some more green here, uh, because this uh, effect of uh, this effect of blue, green, purples, we need them down there as well. You know, just uh, kind of reflection. You know, it's, uh, it's something reflecting from uh, from those lights. Okay, and uh, let's see. We will we'll see what we get from there. And some, 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 some white as well, because uh, we have uh, we have uh, some white in here and here as well. We just play with the colors. We see how that is gonna work. The most important I wanted to show. And. Uh, And just some red here, and we have some purple in this corner. Yes, this some purple. Oh, and some blue. As I told you before, I like using Persian blue when I'm painting Northern Light. It's a kind of uh, Nice blue, I like a lot. And uh, we have uh, some kind of uh, red in this corner, kind of reddish, you know, things like that. As we'll be changing everything as we, we paint, we, we, as we, we paint the lot, okay? Yes, play them a little bit smoothly. Yes, uh, something like that, and we have the kind of some dark blue in this corner, and then like that, and uh, It looks a little bit more brighter around here. That's a kind of some 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 green. And then then some kind of blue here. And uh, then 
I will make some kind of rocky mountains, you know, the things like that. I use some dark blue and maybe a little bit black. Show where those uh, lights are coming from. Yeah, some kind of blue, the dark blue. Just to create the base of uh, of this uh, Lucky Mountain in the north. In the north, you know. Because those those uh, those lights they come they are behind the mountain uh, the mountains you know yes uh, um, let's see. making this mountain and just keep some area darker you know and uh, that uh, should be should be nice you know so then uh, as I said just use a few of these colors you have in, in the sky yes to highlight the, the reflection of the light. Then, uh, once uh, once you have um, once you have the the reflection like this on the mountains. Then you need to do the reflection. We do the reflection of the mountains into water. So, uh, what we have here, then we do we 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 do the reflection. You just pull what we have. Just pull. Transfer into water. And then, as I said before, use big brush, and then make them smooth. Just to make the edge of water, just pull that and I make the, the mountain, the shape of the mountains into, into water. So how that is done? Use white, uh, it's like a mirror, you know, and we have this going down, and uh, we have this. We have that reflection. 
that. And what is the 